group of Chicagoans is marking what would have been the 100th birthday of Mayor Harold Washington. Wow. Here from the Mayor Harold Washington Legacy Committee is Pastor Rich Redman. He worked with the historic mayor and now he's keeping his legacy alive. Pastor, thanks so much for joining us. Now, you worked with the mayor side by side. He was something else, wasn't he? <laughs> mayor Harold Washington was quite a character. He was a likable person. Mm -hmm. Children loved him. Uh, people loved him. He had a way of touching the hearts of individuals, and he was just down to earth. So yeah, I worked with him prior to his announcement, and of course was there uh, November 25th, uh, the day of his death in 1987. Smart as a whip. Smart. Tremendous. Uh, the kind of person that you would uh, like to be around when he's sharing information. The kind of person you would not like to be around when he <laughs> is upset about right. activities that are totally unbelievable, such as the council wars. Right. And those were tremendous years for us. Uh, so, but overall, just an everyday guy you can talk with, he never placed himself above anyone. And I think that's what people uh, basically gravitated towards. Critics would say, uh, and some other people would say, that it was the council wars that led to his subsequent heart attack. The stress that was put on him being the black, first black mayor in a city that is just so segregated, mm -hmm. it, was, it was tough for him. Oh, segregated is, that's a word that I would say is really an understatement. Harold Washington in 83 won 22 wards, Micah. Of those 22 wards, 10 of them were African American, and of those 10, he won 99% of the support. Seven more, he won 90%. And five, over 60%. Mm. Actually, Epton, who was his uh, uh, person ran against him as the Republican candidate, won more wards. But the African American community came out in great numbers for Harold. That is not only a point of first African American mm -hmm. mayor, but it's also a point of showing at that time in Chicago, the unity in the African American community was fantastic. And they wanted change. Now tell me about this button and, and your, your effort to, to celebrate his, which would have been his 100th birthday, right? Oh yeah. The button is a, a resemblance of what we're trying to recreate. Mm -hmm. Now, I gave you some numbers, but at the same time, everyone of those 99% wards and 90% and over 60% wards were wearing these buttons. Mm. And I'm going to quote a news reporter who said at the time, uh, everywhere I go, I can't help but to see these buttons. Every area I'm reporting, no matter what. He says, I turn a corner, I see these buttons. This is a sea of blue. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to recreate. We're trying to make the buttons available through our website at the Mayor Harold Washington Legacy Committee org. We're trying to get people to uh, basically uh, make donations so we can get more buttons. And they can find that all that information is on our website. But our hope, the end results, the week of April 15th, so it's on the Friday. Mm -hmm. Starting that Monday, we want people to just wear the buttons throughout the entire week. People, I, I, I just plead with them, yes. get these buttons. Now put, put your hat on, oh, and yeah, as, we yeah. go, as we go to break, thank you so much. For more on how to get your blue button and event details for the big centennial celebration, visit mhwlc.org. Thank you, Pastor.